Welcome back to Inside the Hive. Let's talk Yellow Jacket football. Let's talk new coach for the Yellow Jacket football. Here with me is Brian Sheehan. Brian, nice to have you on the show. Great to be here. Thanks. Brian, describe the process that brought you here to Defiance College. Well, I, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be sitting here uh, were it not for the support of some great people, first of all. Um, certainly my wife, Mandy, I know she's as excited as I am to jump into this college community and this uh, city of Defiance community with both feet. Uh, I have great support back at Thomas Moore. The athletic director, Terry Connor, and my head coach, Jim Hilbert, um, gave me an opportunity there at TMC to help develop the football program. And uh, certainly, uh, I wouldn't be here without the players that I coached over the last nine seasons. And, and, and particularly, I want to thank the guys at Thomas Moore for everything that they did for me. It was our team's success that really piqued the interest of Jenny Morrison, the athletic director here at Defiance, and uh, started the process for us talking about D.C. football and whether or not I'd be a good fit. Coach, um, the Yellow Jacket football team has been stuck around 500. Um, and, you know, how do you bring that success that you had at Thomas More here at Defiance College? Well, you know, and this isn't anything new, but you win with people. And we've got to make certain that everybody that touches our football program is committed to being great, that everybody's operating at a high level, operating up here. And that starts with our coaching staff. That continues through our senior football players and the rest of the roster and the administrative staff as well. As long as we have everybody around this program with a championship mentality, I think the wins will come. And the success that everybody craves around here, that's going to happen sooner rather than later. So how do you go about b building that championship mentality? We've got to understand that it's a process. And like anything, winning's a habit. We're going to be committed to going 1-0 and every day. And by that I mean bringing it every day, bringing our best effort, doing things the Defiance football way. And if we're able to accomplish that on a daily basis, we're going to have some 200-odd daily win streak going into the first game of the season for 2012. We have developed that mentality here. Great things are going to happen. Sure. Um, now, how do you take those underclassmen and make them champions? I think they have to understand that it's a process, and it's not going to happen as quickly as, as we all would like. There are great pieces of the puzzle already in place here at D.C. I had a chance to watch some film, um, especially of the Mount St. Joe game earlier in the season and there's athleticism jumping off the screen. There's effort jumping off the screen. And if we can get that on a consistent basis, I'm, I'm honestly, honestly, the pieces are already there uh, for us to be great. I think the seniors that are coming back are gonna be a great example for our young guys. Those are guys that are committed to defiance and committed to the football program, and they really show the young guys how to win every day. So what, do you, what kind of recruit are you trying to, to bring to Defiance College? Well, you know, Defiance football has been built and cared for by great people for over 100 years. I had a chance to meet with some alumni during this process, guys that played in the 60s and the 70s that are just passionate about D.C. and passionate about the football team. It's going to be really important that we're going to bring in folks that are going to uphold those standards. We're going to know that they have those qualities if they're committed to being the best. And that's going to show up in their high school transcripts. That's going to show up in their community involvement. And that's certainly going to show up on the film that we see of their high school football games. If they're committed to operating up here with the rest of our team all the time, we know, we know that they're going to be successful for four years here in Defiance. We will go anywhere and everywhere, Ryan, to recruit the best players into this program. We'll pay a particular attention to the tri-state area for sure. I think guys that play high school football in the 419 area code ought to stay here and play here for four years in the 419. Also, too, we've had tremendous success in the state of Florida. You know, and, and if you're a Florida recruit right now, you need to know that we've got upwards of 30 guys within our football program that love Defiance College and love the football program and are going to help your transition up here. And President Mark Gordon has an initiative to expand the reach of D.C. And we're going to go into other states as well in the South and in the Midwest and pull, again, the best and the brightest into our football program. You win with people, that's nothing new, and we're going to make sure we have great people in our football program. Coach, if, if you can say one thing to Defiance College community out there, what's that one thing? We're going to have the toughest, most disciplined football family in the country. And Defiance College, City of Defiance, alumni, parents, friends of the program, this is your college football team. And we're going to be reaching out to you in the near term because we want you to enjoy it. We want you to be a part of this. And together, great things are going to happen for D.C. football. Coach, thanks for joining us today. That wraps up this episode of Inside the Hive. Look for big things in 2012.